Good morning, everybody. It is October 28th, 2023. Saturday. It is. My watch says that it is 4... 3... Let's see. Hold on a second. It's an hour behind. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. It was 4... Uh, okay, my phone says it's 4.54. Okay. I always forget if it's an hour behind or an hour ahead. Okay, so what I've got for you for this video is Peace for Each Day, Billy Graham. Okay, so we're going to read today's and then we're going to read... We're going to go all the way back to the beginning. We're going to read January's. Where we left off on January. And that's going to be January 4th. Okay, so today's is October 28th. So we're going to read October 28th. October 28th. Shed for me. With his own blood, he entered the most holy place. Once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12. A great preacher by the name of Caesar Milan met a young woman by the name of Charlotte Elliot. He told her that the greatest news he had ever heard was that the blood of Jesus Christ cleansed him from his sin. Embittered because of ill health, she replied, I cannot believe in the goodness of God, and I don't need the blood of Jesus Christ to forgive me for anything. Milan said, I didn't mean to be offensive. I only meant to tell you that God loves you and that he has forgiven you at a great cost. That night, she could not sleep because of the preacher's words. She finally went to her knees and asked Christ into her heart. Years later, she wrote, Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. Believers in Christ have a fabulous future ahead. Thank Jesus Christ now for the gifts of his blood and what one eternal sacrifice would mean. Eternal life. Okay, and so there's a question. Have you had a moment where you could not believe in the goodness of God? <laughs> okay. And I'm going to add a little to that. And I'm going to say, yes, I, I personally have struggled um, with... Um, the goodness of God and believing in God and uh, for years, for years and years and years and years and years, um, on and off for years and years. And uh, there's certain times in my life, like one of the times whenever um, my girl, my grandma Paxton got cancer. She got colon cancer and um, she was a Christian uh, her whole life and I just couldn't understand it. I just couldn't. I was like, why? I was so mad at God. I was like, why? She's been a Christian all her life and one of the nicest people I've ever known in my whole entire life and loving, caring. And yeah, but he warned me. God warned me whenever I was living in North Carolina. I was sitting out in the steps and when I was married to my ex-husband, Dave, and I was sitting out there and all of a sudden, uh, I got off the phone with my grandma Paxton and he said, what would you do without her? And I was like, huh? And he said, there's going to come a time whenever she's not going to be here anymore, not on earth anymore. And I was like, huh? And I was just thinking, well, that's just because she's, you know, in her... 70s, close to 80s, and she died when she was 81, and, uh, so, yeah, it was right after that, after we, uh, moved back to Illinois, 
that um, after North Carolina, we moved back and we were living in Marion, Illinois, and uh, Dave was a recruiter for the Navy. And uh, that's whenever she she hid it for a long time uh, that she had cancer, and then finally she told me. And uh, she said that she didn't want to have chemo, and uh, that she had lived her life, and she was ready to go home. And <laughs> I was like sitting there, and I was like, Grandma, don't tell me this. <laughs> I was like, yes. But it's what she wanted. So yeah, so yeah, I got mad at God, and I was just like, you know, why couldn't he have just healed her and and let her live just a little longer? But she went home to be with God. That's what I believe, and um, she's gonna be with him and her and Grandpa Paxton both. And uh, so yeah, so that was that was one of the times that was one of my major times whenever um, I uh, I couldn't I couldn't believe in the goodness of God and I just was so mad and but he was still so nice to me and so kind to me. I remember sitting on the back porch and he was like. You're gonna get through this, and I'm gonna get you through this, and da 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 da. da and I, I just couldn't believe it. I could just, I could just feel him, you know, telling me, and it was just something that I just knew, that I just knew, that I knew, that I knew, that I knew, and um, yeah. So I got through it, and I'm probably in the best way, but. I'll admit, not in the best way. I um, I went the total opposite direction of uh, what I should have done, but I got through it, and it still makes me sad to this day. But that uh, she's not here, and um, you know that I'm not able to talk to her and and um, love her and hug her and. And all that good stuff, and neither one of them, both grandma and grandpa, because they were the nicest people that I have ever met in my entire life. I guess it was just that generation, you know. I guess. So, anyway, I hope one day I'll get to see him again, and, um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. I'm just, like, rambling on. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> that's all I've got for you for this video. If you like this content, like this video, or comment below, I would love to know your thoughts, anything you would like to add to this. Uh, now, don't forget to go out there and rainbow it. Flood the world with love, peace, joy, and charity. Thank you, and have a good day.